Women's Boxing. Banned in the UK until 1996, but now one of the fastest growing sports around the world. The success of women's amateur boxing has seen a rise of more than a thousand registered female boxers in the UK. And the GB squad believe it's only going to get bigger. Why is women's amateur boxing becoming so popular? I think, obviously, you look at London and you look at some of the female boxers that, that perform there. Nicola Adams became a huge star after the Olympic Games. She was a former double world silver medalist prior to London, but obviously there's nothing like the Olympics. She became an Olympic gold medalist and has become a huge star. Katie Taylor for Ireland became a gold medalist at the same Olympics at, at lightweight and she's become a big star. So um, I think it's really caught cool. on. The public seem to have an affection for for the females that, that do well in, in women's boxing and I think it's pushed on memberships up and down the country with, with clubs, you know, have done really well after the Olympics and I think it's it's a really it's a really, really uh, interesting sport. People wanted to see how it unfolded, they've they've saw a little bit of how it unfolds and they like the look of it. Obviously, the Olympics had to help uh, the publicity. It just kind of, um, I think it's encaptured it, hasn't it, for us? And um, to see that, oh, you know, it's not just a male-dominated sport now, and the, the standard of female boxing, I think it's just um, made people think, oh, I can do that as well. So, and I think sometimes it's these stories that we tell where we've come from, and it makes young people think, well, I can do it as well. What people are realising now that we're just as good as the lads. We spar with the lads, we train with the lads, we, we can do everything what the lads do. And I think more people are realising that, so it's just coming up at the right time. The Team GB ladies have not only demonstrated that they can compete in boxing, but they have done it at a high level, showing real class. In the World Championships, GB has won gold medals in World Championships, in Olympic Games and Commonwealth Games. Do you think we could become the number one nation in, in women's boxing? I think it's very difficult. I think that the competition's fierce in the world, in the men's boxing, and, and now equally so in, in women's boxing. I think other nations have invested in it. I think they have full-time athletes, they have facilities that are you know, tremendous, and they have huge support teams around these boxers, and the female boxing has flourished because of it. Um, I think the competition is fierce, which can only be good for women's boxing. And, and you know, it's our job and, and, and our female boxers' jobs to, to keep up with everybody. And, and the World Championships will no doubt be difficult, like it always is. And um, it's got stronger, we know that. But, um, you know, our females have improved as well. And, and, and reigning world champion Savannah Marshall heads the team going over there and she'll look to, to repeat that again and, and hopefully go on and, and retain the title. I think um, in men's and women's, I think we've got everything we need. Um, to sort of once you've been, you, you see it from the outside, but once you're part of it and you see the coaching that goes on in the support staff, everybody's just so passionate about their role, whether they're a physio, whether they're admin, whether they're a nutritionist, whatever their role is, they're really passionate about continuing to learn, progressing the boxers, doing everything to make them better. So I think everything that's behind the actual boxer as well. I don't, I don't see why not. I think people see GB as a threat, don't they, at a tournament and probably don't want to draw us within the tournament. And I think we've got to take that as a positive because sometimes, you know, you can be thinking, oh, what, what if I get that opponent? But really, I think, if anything, most countries now fear GB because they know we've got, you know, top-notch facilities, the coaches, and we're producing the medals. Another chance for the females to showcase their talents is in the upcoming World Championships in South Korea and the GB squad can't wait to get out there. I'm really excited, I really enjoyed you know, um, the 2012 World Championships and you know, I really enjoyed the Commonwealth Games, so it's another major and I, I'm, I'm really excited. For me, right, I think my weight division is the strongest weight division. You know, there isn't just you know, one or two girls that are really good. I mean, what 75 kilo woman, do you know that isn't, isn't strong? Do you know, so, and me being, uh, uh, reigning world champion, everyone's wanting to beat me, so you know, I'm, not, I'm not underestimating anyone. I don't like to be too confident, because I don't want to look 
set myself up for a failure, but I feel good, I feel really good. I'm just going to go out there and give it 110% and just go enjoy myself as well, I think. That's the main thing for me. If I have fun, I'll know that I'll perform. If I give myself pressure, I won't perform. So I'm just going to go and enjoy the moment. I think the training camps are massively important um, because the, the, the co it's difficult to explain how good the coaching is here unless you've been part of it. You sort of start a pad session here and you, you feel there already just after you know a couple of sessions um, because they're just so good at noticing all the tiny things you're doing wrong, what you need to improve on and explaining how to do it. It makes a massive, massive difference. When I get the draw, the coaches will do an incredible job of preparing me. I couldn't believe just how well everything was done at the Orioles because I'd never been part of it before. I just think it's an amazing team they've got. For a sport that was seen as essentially male, women's boxing has come a long way. The World Championships will provide another chance for us to celebrate a batch of athletes that put their heart and soul into the sport they love. And that's worth shouting about.